Tokyo, President Joe Biden said Monday that the U.S. would intervene militarily if China were to invade Taiwan, saying the burden to protect Taiwan is even stronger after Russia's invasion of Ukraine. It was one of the most forceful presidential statements in support of self-governing in decades. Biden, at a news conference in Tokyo, said yes when asked if he was willing to get involved militarily to defend Taiwan if China invaded. That's the commitment we made, he added. The U.S. traditionally has avoided making such an explicit security guarantee to Taiwan, with which it no longer has a mutual defense treaty. The 1979 Taiwan Relations Act, which has governed U.S. relations with the island, does not require the U.S. to step in militarily to defend Taiwan if China invades, but makes it American policy to ensure Taiwan has the resources to defend itself and to prevent any unilateral change of status in Ta. Biden's comments were likely to draw a sharp response from the mainland, which has claimed Taiwan to be a rogue province. A White House official said Biden's comments did not reflect a policy shift. Speaking alongside Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida, Biden said any effort by China to use force against Taiwan would just not be appropriate, adding that it will dislocate the entire region and be another action similar to what happened in Ukraine. China has stepped up its military profit. Under the One China policy, the U. S. recognizes Beijing as the government of China and doesn't have diplomatic relations with Taiwan. However, the U.S. maintains unofficial contacts including a de facto embassy in Taipei, the capital, and supplies military equipment for the island's defense. Biden said it is his expectation that China would not try to seize Taiwan by force, but he said that assessment depends upon just how strong the world makes clear that that kind of action is going to result in long-term disapprobation by the rest of the community. He added that deterring China F. Fearing escalation with nuclear-armed Russia, Biden quickly ruled out putting U.S. forces into direct conflict with Russia, but he has shipped billions of dollars in U.S. military assistance that has helped Ukraine put up a stiffer-than-expected resistance to Russia's onslaught. Biden's comments came just before he formally launched a long-anticipated Indo-Pacific trade pact that excludes Taiwan.